Welcome to Knowledge for Everyone. Today we are installing the subsurface trans filters on T. So let me show you that one. So here we have an end cap and then we have a filter pipe. So there are slots on it. You can see it. The bottom of it is solid. Let me show you a piece. So this is a piece of filter pipe. Now you can see that we have three slots in it. And uh, it will be installed like this. So there will be this, the upper, the upper uh, will be, a slot will be slightly on angle, not like this. It should not be on top. It will be slightly on angle, so it doesn't act like a venturi and the base will be remain solid, so the water can go and travel on it. So let me show you how we will place it. So it will be placed like this. Okay, so we have one slot here, one slot here, and one slot here. So this will be slightly an angle like this, like this. Okay, so let's see it. Now you can see the base is solid, the base is solid and we have uh, no any filter or any slot on top so that is the installation method so be careful with that because if you put it on top any slot on top that will act like a venturi it will suck all the media which which can be sent from top of the surface so be careful with that don't put any slot on top so it will be like this slightly on angle not like this okay so clear so let's see how we did it so first of all we dug a trench here and then we put some crush material there should not be any debris like this so remove these away the soil particles take them away it should be clean then install your pipe and make and make sure that it is central it is placed in the center so there is enough crush material fill material on both sides and on top so from here onward our filter is end so now we will use the solid pipe So now you can see that I have a central line that is also filter and left and right two laterals. One lateral is here, one lateral is on my left side. Then those will come to the center and from here onward we have a solid pipe. That solid pipe is going away, taking away water. Any water that will be in excess from irrigation or rainwater that will be carried away so here is the main line and we will use a YT of connection from there for this tea so this was a ladies, ladies tea let me show you my third tea so here is the main line then I have a YT of connection for my third tea the line that line is the solid pipe which is going up here the filter pipe starts that is the filter pipe this is the blind pipe then on here we have a two laterals left and right and one central line so this is how we do it so this, this is this is this pattern of uh, drainage called heron bone drainage. It acts like a, a heron bone bone structure of fish. This is my second tea. This is slightly bigger. Almost 11 yard is its uh, dia. 
so we have a center line and left and right and the line is going down and then we have a T of connection Y T is there but we have backfilled some part of it then the line further goes to the black T which is the very first T that is also called the champions tree so we have backfilled that area but let me show you the the filters so from here onward the filter starts and then we have a left and right lateral and the central lateral so just look at that pipe this pipe is covered properly from all surrounding by the filter porous crush material which is 5 mm dia you can see here also and you can see in this trench also so what will happen any excess water that will be uh, from irrigation or from rain that will come from the surface and slightly go down there and there is a highly porous media so that will go quickly to the filter pipe from filter pipe from these slots it will enter to this pipe and that will be carried away from the surface so it is for better aeration and for better uh, roots oxygen roots will get oxygen properly at any time and your moisture will be at field capacity any time one thing should be kept in mind that is the distance between the two the lateral from lateral to center or from the center to lateral or from the lateral to lateral if there is secondary and tertiary laterals that should not be less than five yard or five meter you can say in other words if it is be closely together closely spaced then that will be over drain area and there will be low moisture spot created and what will happen that uh, frequently more irrigation will be required and if they will be far apart from each other then what will happen that there will be high moisture area and uh, high moisture area what will happen that there will be uh, oxygen deficiency and the grass color will be uh, yellowish and there will be more problems and more problems so the design must be accurate and correct so thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and like the videos thank you a lot